All right, so we're going to take a quick look at events and what we can use event tracking for when it comes to understanding visitor kind of behavior on our website. So what events are is they're actually micro engagements that we're able to track um, using some different tools. Um, and these are actions that people are taking beyond like clicking on a link, beyond playing a video. We can actually measure uh, more specific actions that they're taking. And a really good example of that is like these clicks on a tab. So in our blog sidebar here, we have these different tabs and you can set up an event to say every time someone clicks on one of these, let's capture it because maybe that's a useful thing to measure. Maybe it's not, but that's why we're going to measure it and find out. Um, another great example is like an accordion. If you're going to click and expand the accordion, you can actually capture that event. So you can take a better look at like how many people not only are viewing this page, what's their time on the page, but what actions did they take while they were on that page? And HubSpot has a really easy to use tool for that. Um, their event builder here uh, within your portal. You can just come in and give your uh, event a name. We're going to call this HQ new event. <clears throat> you can add tags for it so that you can kind of categorize these. And then you select the event type. It's a simple click element, submitted a form, visited a URL, or you can set up a custom event. And custom events require a little bit of extra coding. But then you can look at things like, did someone reach a certain point on the page when they're scrolling? Or um, did they uh, interact with a particular element in a certain way? But really cool stuff, getting at the heart of understanding what actions your visitors are taking on the page, understanding those actions, and then being able to put that data into action. 